This is the first lecture on ordinary differential equations. So a differential equation is an equation involving derivatives of one or more dependent variable with respect to one or more independent variable. Now there are two kinds of differential equations. One is a ODE and a PDE. ODE that is ordinary differential equation and is an equation involving one or more derivative of an unknown y. Now in general a ordinary differential equation can involve one or more dependent variable whose derivative is taken with respect to a single independent variable. Whereas in a PDE or a partial differential equation one or more dependent variable its derivative is taken with respect to more than one independent variable so here we don't say derivative we say partial derivative of the dependent variables in this course we are going to deal with ordinary differential equations or ode so note that a ordinary differential equation may contain y itself and various functions of x including constant so y is considered the dependent variable is considered as the zeroth derivative in other words an ordinary differential equation is a relation between y y dash dy by dx uh, and so on up to the nth derivative of y So y dash is same as dy by dx. So in general, we can write a ordinary differential equation as a function capital F of variable x, y, y dash, and so on up to nth derivative of y is equal to zero. So this is a uh, expression for a ordinary differential equation. Now, differential equations occur naturally in physics, engineering, and so on. You must have come across several examples of differential equations in physics and engineering. We will see some of the examples as we go along. Now, we look at some classification of differential equations. Uh, classifications according to, we classify ordinary differential equation according to the appearance of the highest derivative in the equation. So the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative in the equation. For example, the equation exam, the example number one, here the highest derivative is two. The second derivative of y is considered here with respect to x. So the order of this differential equation is two. It's a second order differential equation. The example number two, here the fourth derivative of x with respect to t is taken. x is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable. Since the fourth derivative is taken, so this is the fourth order ordinary differential equation. Now we'll see an example of a partial differential equation, PD. So instead of uh, dy by dx we now use the symbol del so this expression is del v by del t plus del v by del s is equal to v here v is the dependent variable and t and s are the independent variable so there are two independent variables so this is a partial differential equation and the de derivatives are of first order, so it's a first order PDE. In the next expression, you can recognize that this is also a PDE. The dependent variable is u, and the independent variables are x, y, and z. The second derivatives are considered here, so this is a second order PDE. In fact, the highest derivative is of second order. In fact, all the derivatives here are second order, but what matters is the highest 
derivative and that is of second order. In the next expression, we have dx by dt is equal to fxy, dy by dt is equal to gxy. So, here x and y are dependent variable and t is the independent variable. So, there is only one independent variable. So, this is a ODE, is a system of ODE and the highest derivative is of order 1. So, first derivative is taken. So, it is a first order ODE. Next classification is linear equations and nonlinear equations. This for a ordinary differential equation, we say it is a linear ordinary differential equation if the differential equation f x comma y y dash and so on up to nth derivative of y is equal to 0. This differential equation we say this is linear if f is a linear function of the variable y y dash and so on up to nth derivative. Note that we are not asking f to be linear with respect to x. We are only asking it to be linear with respect to y and its derivatives. So, linear equation definition you must have already seen in the course on linear algebra MA106. So, this is a linear equation in that sense. This f is a linear function in that sense. So, a linear OD of order n is of the form as given here. So, a naught x is a function of x, a 1 x is a function of x, a n x is a function of x and v x is a function of x. So, it is a naught x nth derivative of y plus a 1 x n minus 1th derivative of y and so on up to a n x y is equal to b x. And for this to be a nth order OD, we have to assume that a naught x is not equal to 0, otherwise, it will be of lower order. So, a checklist for an equation to be linear ordinary differential equation is the following that if the dependent variable y and its derivative occur with maximum power 1, so it can be the power can be either 1 or 0. You can see all these are appearing with power 1 nth derivative of y is appearing with 1, n minus 1th derivative is occurring with power 1, y is occurring with power 1. It can be of order 0 if the coefficient is 0. So, some of the derivatives will be missing in this equation. So, what did I say? The checklist is that if the dependent variable and its derivatives occur with maximum power 1 and no product of y or its derivative occur. So, there should not be any term like y nth derivative times y mth derivative or something. Such products are not allowed. allowed. We will see some examples of ODs. A radioactive substance decomposes as a rate proportional to the amount of radioactive substance present. So, this is an example from physics. Let yt denote the amount of radioactive substance present at time t. So, here the amount of substance present is the dependent variable and t which denotes the time is the independent variable. The equation, differential equation that describes this phenomenon is given by dy by dt is equal to minus k times t where k is a physical constant uh, which value is determined by experiment. This k depends on the substance various substance have different value of k for a given substance is fixed. So, this dis differential equation describes radioactivity. So, you can see the amount of radioactive substance will decrease with time and the rate 
is also proportional uh, to the amount of substance present but with a minus sign so minus k is called the decay constant linear ordinary differential equation first order this particular dy by dt is equal to minus k times y is a linear ODE because dy by dt occurs with power 1 and y occurs with power 1 and this is a linear. Now we consider another example from physics that of an oscillating pendulum of length L. The pendulum's length is L. Let theta be the angle that the string makes or massless rod, let us say, makes with the vertical direction. So, as shown in the figure, there is a theta here, the angle, and the length of this massless rod is L. You must be knowing from your physics that the equation, the differential equation describes this phenomenon is d2. Uh, second derivative of theta with respect to time, so d2 theta by dt square plus g by l sin theta is equal to 0. Here g is the acceleration due to gravity. So, what do you think this differential equation is of which type? So, this is the order of this differential equation is 2. Because the second derivative of theta with respect to time occurs here. And is it linear or nonlinear? It is nonlinear because sine theta appears here. The dependent variable theta, sine of that appears. So, if we call this as f, then f is not linear with respect to theta and first derivative and second derivative of theta. So, this is a nonlinear differential equation. So, we saw an example of a linear differential equation and then a nonlinear differential equation. Here is the third example. So, a mass, a body of mass m falls under the force of gravity. Due to air resistance, there is a drag force on this falling object. The drag force is proportional to the velocity of the object, in fact, uh, proportional to the square of the velocity of the object. So, drag force is equal to c times v square, where v is the velocity and c is a constant. Then, the differential equation that describes the motion of the falling object is the following m times db by dt is equal to mg minus c times v square where again g is the acceleration due to gravity and v is the velocity so you can clearly recognize that this is a differential equation of order one because the first derivative of v occurs with respect to time t. Now, the question is whether this is a linear or nonlinear. This is a nonlinear differential equation as v square term occurs here. The highest power of v that is allowed is 1 for it to be linear. So, this is a nonlinear differential equation of order 1. Here are some more examples. So, second derivative of y plus 5 times first derivative of y plus 6 times y is equal to 0. This is a linear differential equation of order 2, that is second order. The next one, fourth derivative of y plus x square plus third derivative of y plus x cube. First derivative of y is equal to x e raised to x. This is a linear differential equation 
and because fourth derivative of y occurs so this is a fourth order linear differential equation next one second derivative of y plus phi times cube of first derivative of y plus 6 times y is equal to 0. This is again a second order ordinary differential equation and you can clearly see that this is non-linear because the third power of first derivative of y occurs here. So, this is a non-linear second order differential equation.